Okay, welcome back to Southern Bell Tarot. I do offer private readings. Please see the description box below. I was tagged in a comment on TikTok about this young man, Clay Steve Perkins, who was killed on Friday, um, the 29th of September, 39 years of age. This occurred in Decatur, Alabama. He goes mostly by Steve, so in this reading, you'll hear me um, call him Steve. Another thing, for those of you who are not familiar with tarot, because on my murder mystery readings, we do have audiences that don't typically watch tarot readings on YouTube or even know anything about tarot. Uh, tarot is subjective, so that means that it is up to the tarot reader to come to a subjective conclusion about what the tarot cards are saying. I am an intuitive tarot reader, which means that although tarot cards have a common meaning for what each card may represent, I go intuitively based off of the energy of the reading, okay? So what I am saying is that everything I say could or could not be correct, okay? Just depending upon the what I decide to come to as a conclusion. While I do think I am an excellent tarot reader, I just want to be clear that I, this is not a reading saying this is exactly why these events unfolded and give anybody false hope. Nevertheless, um, historically, these types of readings have been beneficial in cases such as these. So, to the family, my condolences. If you want to reach out to me, my email address is in the description box, okay? So, based off what I've seen, guys, uh, Mr. Perkins is a African-American male married with a beautiful family. Unfortunately, he was killed by the Decatur, Alabama Police Department. So, the story goes that uh, his a tow truck company called the police stating that Mr. Perkins um, pulled a weapon on them. Now, one TikTok, TikToker said that it happened, the tow truck company left and then came back with the police. And they're saying that the video that's on TikTok is the, is the events that unfolded during the second encounter. However, uh, my, from what most people on TikTok are saying is that this was just all one encounter, that the tow truck company alleged that he um, brandished a weapon and they called law enforcement. So if you look, go to TikTok and look it up, you will see the video. He's clearly holding a flashlight. You can clearly see that at no time did they give him any attempt to, he did drop the flashlight, I wanna say this, but essentially, as soon as they seen the flashlight, they started shooting. He was dropping the flashlight and they were shooting. Um, the amount of times they shot at him is unclear on TikTok, but it's anywhere from as low as 13 to 18 times from all of the videos that I watched. Uh, what's interesting is the family is saying that he wasn't behind on his car, car note. Now, whether he was behind on his car payments or not is really irrelevant, but that adds to the suspicion of why Mr. Perkins is no longer with his wife and children because why are you repossessing a car that is up to date on its payments? Another thing is the tow truck company is out of Missouri, but this occurred, of course, in Alabama. Now, me living in Tennessee, if a tow truck company came from Mississippi, especially based upon the area I live in, that would be, you know, okay, because you can easily cross the state line. But coming from Missouri all the way to Alabama to repossess a vehicle is just quite suspicious. Um, one TikToker said that the name of this tow truck company which was All Star Towing, has a name similar to a tow truck company in the Decatur, Alabama area. But he was not able to um, independently verify if they are connected because the names aren't the same, but they're very similar. The tow truck company All Star Towing that was involved in this incident has a Better Business Bureau rating of F, which means terrible. And there are multiple allegations on the BBB website that they have attempted to steal vehicles of other people who were up to date on their car payment payments uh what i do know is number one this was a murder you can see the video it's clear what i want to know is we know it's a cover-up but was this like a setup for mr perkins like did someone in the police department or anywhere want him dead and if so why it's no, it's no secret that they killed him. It's a murder caught on. I mean, y'all, it's clear as day. I mean, you can literally see the flashlight falling and all you hear is pop, pop. It's terrible. Um, I couldn't imagine being his wife. 
I never would want to ever step foot in that driveway or that home again. Uh, it's just weird. It's very weird. The biggest thing being is when um, this type of force is used because of a possession that's not okay to me. I don't think law enforcement should be allowed to use deadly force in any situation that is um, involving something like a repossessed vehicle or even a stolen item. There's no reason to shoot someone to death for stealing wine, which is this incident that happened in another state with a, a black lady that was pregnant. She allegedly stole wine out of Kroger's. As she was, well, she did um, attempt to pull off with the officer in front of her vehicle. Nevertheless, I think that it is never that serious to kill someone over a stolen item or a vehicle being repossessed. I don't think at, if she was going to speed off, let her speed off. Okay. But if she didn't harm anyone, why are you pulling your gun out? Why are you? I mean, it's wine. Less than $20. You see what I'm saying? It's deadly force should not be used in situations where it is not necessary. And in situations involving a repossessed vehicle, something like stealing, there's no reason a gun should ever even be brandished unless the officers believe that their lives are in danger. And clearly that was not the case. It would be one thing if it wasn't a flashlight he was holding, but you could clearly see the flashlight, just like a flashlight on a phone. You can clear. I mean, it was bright. The video is very, the video is very dark. But you can you could see his outline and you could see that he was clearly holding a flashlight. You could see the glow of the flashlight. Typically, you know, I would see a, a, a suggestion like this and be like, mm. but what I did look at a few videos on TikTok before, of course, I, um, got my notes together to do this video and one of the videos I came to had 666 I think it had 666 likes and maybe 666 shares or comments so that's 666 repeating twice it leads me to like one of the things I always say it evil personified it's it I don't know what the purpose of that was but we're gonna get to that too I just don't see what I don't see the justification for shooting someone 13 to 18 times over a fucking vehicle. I want to know, Spirit, is there an underlying reason for the murder of Mr. Steve Perkins? There has to be because it just looks like a setup because two of the three officers that responded that did the shooting were hidden. They weren't even visible to Mr. Perkins. Okay, and I, um, if I remember correctly, you could hear him saying, what are you? You hear him talking. He wasn't, it, it, it's, it's odd. So, you know, there's a lot going on in the world right now. So this um, situation, of, of course, is being overshadowed by the um, Israeli-Palestine war. Uh, a lot of things going on and people aren't paying enough attention to Mr. Perkins' situation. And I think they should be um, because these type of small towns like Decatur, Alabama, because I grew up in a, a small town similar to it. If you let them get away with it, they will. The goal is to bring more awareness to the situation as well. But I want to know why they shot at him so many times. So we're going to get started. Um, Spirit, can you reveal something that is not known about the murder of Mr. Steve Perkins? Another thing that was interesting on TikTok is like, although there were three officers, there is a photo cir um, circulating of one of the officers, but not the other two. And I wonder, is, are people suspicious that that officer may have had a previous encounter with Steve? I'm not going to say the officer's name, but we can look into that too. The Ace of Wands is reversed. Ace of Wands upright is um, new beginnings, new creative beginnings. Was Mr. Perkins trying to open up a business? That's the question to his family. The Hermit reversed. I heard that nigger knows too much. Oh, excuse my language. The Lovers is upright. The Four of Swords is here, which it, the meaning doesn't change upright or reverse, so I'm going to flip it up. The Hierophant is here, which represents government institutions, such as police departments. 
and it also can represent churches anything anything old with structure the devil is reversed out of the six cards we have down now four are major arcana cards major arcana cards are um the cards that represent the overall theme of the reading uh there are 78 cards in the tarot deck 22 of those are major arcana and they represent the overall themes there's a lot going on i wanted to do a nine card spread but i'm i'm gonna still do a nine card spread let's do that um but there seems to be a lot of a lot of reasons you got the lovers here to the devil here um interesting that was the chariot reversed here it is peeking out and i must take it because i was just just bear with me we have what is this the full upright i ain't never seen nothing like it the five of cups is here the six of I mean, the five of wands is here. And I wanted to just say the six of wands. Now, in tarot, the six of wands represents someone that's very successful. Let me find the card. It's interesting because I knew that was the five of wands, but I said six of wands. It's something about his success. Um, something about his success. This is the six of wands. Someone riding in um, victorious. And someone wanted to stop that. The king of cups is reversed. The king of cups reversed is a very evil, nasty person, very possessive, very jealous vindictive something related to work the eight of pentacles so we have these two cards here I'll leave that right there so out of the nine cards down six are major arcana arcana something big was going on very big now i could look at this a lot of ways you got the lovers here and then the devil whether the cards are upright or reversed at this moment doesn't matter because remember i'm an intuitive reader so it's got the same thing kind of like a i would think it would look like a forbidden um relationship some people may be okay with it some people may not be maybe interesting that the devil reverses next to the higher font because the higher font represents things that are very traditional it is one of the representation uh, representations of the church so it could be something that goes against um someone's value system or someone's religion especially with the higher font being above the fool which is a new beginning the chariot being reversed represents aggression um unnecessary aggression knight of swords reversed give me a second guys too much well you know what it's not too much the world is reversed the ace of pentacles is upright the page of cups is upright the three of swords is here justice is reversed and the high priestess is here justice and the high priestess in the world are major arcana cards i have never in the history of doing tarot reading seen this many freaking major arcana cards come out in a reading So this is where it gets uncomfortable because he was a married man. Nevertheless, the energy is what I see it to be. It almost appears as if there was a relationship with someone that they didn't want and that that person could even be his wife. Because if you do look, they are a blended family. Um, racial wise. See what I'm saying? How many blended families like the Perkins live in Decatur, Alabama? When I look at the Ace of Pentacles, I focus on the hand because the hand is white. Of course, the Page of Cups is like a love offer. Three of Swords, third party, but it represents heartbreak, disappointment. It's like losing the Super Bowl. I don't know why I got that analogy. Someone could have been, uh, if one of those officers played professional football or was a high school football ball star, I got, I need you in my office. Something is wrong with that justice being reversed is you know just what it is and that's crazy because again this is something about race because when i'm looking at the high priestess i'm looking the first thing i saw was this and i saw black and white black and white it's something it, this is racially motivated i can't believe this many major arcana are out it's like
it's something dealing with the value system. Because when I look at the four of swords, I'm drawn to this, um, the, the window, which is like a church window. You know that? Can't think of the exact naming of what type of window that would be. But the glass window with the different colors in it. Anybody ever notice the, the horns? I almost said the devil. The, at the bottom of the high priestess card, those look like horns to me. I've never noticed that in, in this card. Which is why that six, I'm telling you, it, there's a demonic element to this. Not as in someone that's a Satanist is involved, but more so of the person that King of Cups reversed is a very, very, very low vibrational. I mean, he could be a Satan worshiper. We just, we never know. But this person is an awful human being. Seven of Swords is here. Which represents trickery, getting away with something. Ten of Cups reversed. A broken family, a broken home. The moon is here reversed. Illumination of a secret. What secret was illuminated? What secret was illuminated? secret was being illuminated spirit what secret was being illuminated please that's crazy I swear because this is the Empress another major arcana card something about a, a pregnancy or a, a mother because I was looking at this deck which is the light seers tarot and in this deck the emperor the um, Empress is actually a pregnant belly Three of Cups is reversed at the bottom of the deck. The Three of Cups reversed represents a third party. We have the Knight of Cups reversed. Look at the depiction of the Knight of Cups in this. Remember, it's, it's like a love offer reversed. I don't like you offering a love making a love offer to my wife my baby mother or someone a woman that has kids ten of pentacles is here family marriage stability all righty the devil is here temptation you see the devil has um puppet strings coming from his hands and do you see who's at the end of those puppet strings a man a very um tormented man by this devil energy of uh, someone's bothering him over something the seven of swords is here look at this man the seven of swords is like i said trickery what's interesting in the seven of swords this is a crow crows are the smartest birds known to mankind they literally will put nuts um near roadways so cars can roll over uh, hit them and break the nut open so, um so they could get to what's inside and eat it they're very they adapt uh, this person has a knife but this man, the Seven of Swords represents deceit, deception, someone trying to get away with murder, okay? And then for this to be the second time that this card is presenting in this reading, somebody's up to something. This is someone that's sneaking. Look at him. Knife in his hand, ready to go to war over something. Now, what's this? We have the King of Swords to the Nine of Cups to the King of Cups. So we have two men presenting themselves. Um, these are court cards. Kings, queens, knights, and pages are court cards. They represent people. The king of swords represents um, a profession like law enforcement. Whatever it was, it could even be not necessarily this person's significant other could have been coming on to Mr. Perkins. Because when you look at the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups is satisfaction, fulfillment. It's like you're, what you want, you're, your wants being fulfilled. It's a very selfish card. This woman is like jumping out of a, a, a pot of, um, well, not a pot, a, a, a chest of gold. 
it's like an obsession with Mr. Perkins. There's a significance of feathers. It's significant in this King of Swords um, card. We have an owl. Um, his house, it's important to look at all the video footage. This house was, um, this is not the first time this person has been to this house or drove by the home. That's the best way I can put it. Look at the Five of Cups presenting itself again and then the Ten of Cups reversed and then Justice is here reversed. Okay, let's talk about this. The Five of Cups, of course, that's sorrow. Likely representative of this woman. So this, if this, I would say to say the same woman, maybe now, by now she's dyed her hair. But what's interesting is, you know, the Nine of Cups, this woman is very fulfilled with um, all of these cups and her jumping out of this chest of gold. But look at the Five of Cups. Those same cups are there. See that? A woman mourning the death of Mr. Perkins because she's the reason it happened. Because when I look at the Ten of Cups reversed, you know, that's a, a family that's broken up. But the justice, the depiction in this card is two women. But what's crazy about this card is either way, you really just can't say to me. This is just, to me, a resting bitch face on the inverted, when you look at it inverted. But it's like, it's like in this depiction of the justice card, I, it's like either way you could look at it and then again... You got these bowls again. These gold bowls. Hmm. What I'm saying is this woman is wearing a mask. She started this shit. She certainly did. Mm -hmm. She did. Page of Wands is here. What is... She may have been a gymnast or something or um been one of those women that twirled the batons what is it like a i don't know if it's a major red or something something of that nature we have judgment reversed we have the five of wands to the seven of wands to the page of cups the empress is here pregnant belly this is the card I was talking about. All right. There's a significance of fish. Um, we have what I think is a woman that had an obsession with Mr. Perkins. His husband didn't like it. She probably played on the energy of Mr. Perkins was coming on her or something. It could be that this woman may be pregnant or may suspect they may may um they may suspect she's pregnant and the husband thinks that it's Mr. Perkins' baby. But it looks like this is a one-sided thing. What I'll say is he was a married man, number one. So again, I have to explore all, all avenues of what this situation could likely be about. So I'm gonna have to talk about some things that we may not want to talk about. So say her and Mr. Perkins did have a relationship, but they ended it. She could have still been obsessed after that relationship. You see what I'm saying? But this really looks like a one-sided thing thus far. Seriously, it does. It's given the energy of he was nice to people. And um, when I look at the Six of Cups, it looks like this um, young lady that this man has given these flowers to is in awe. He's nice to everybody, baby. It wasn't anything special. You know what I'm saying? Like, she took it the wrong way. Definitely. Because you got the Six of Pentacles here reversed, which is another act of giving. But reversed. Her interpret that was the high priestess reversed her interpretation of their interactions was not what it was this lady this lady is delusional which is why the judgment card was so hard so i read intuitively now judgment in this deck if you remember the depiction it was someone but then it was like a depiction of their soul coming out of their body it's like she's um has this disassociate she disassociates like she's present but she's not present well she's present but she's present times two in the sense of She's out, having an out-of-body experience, making herself believe that something that is not happening is actually happening. This is, um, five of wands reverse can represent a mental illness. There is nothing wrong with people who have um, mental um, illnesses, including myself. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying that this is kind of indicating what I'm saying. This is in, this is someone who's not stable. Interesting. 
So the Queen of Cups is reversed, who's a very um, a very vindictive bitch. So this is the partner to that reversed King of Cups and look judgment and awakening. But then you got the Three of Pentacles reversed. The Three of Pentacles represents working. Okay, those three cops that showed up to the home. I look at the um, Red Cross, this flag, the Red Cross. It it kind of reminds me of something I saw on TikTok about they delayed calling for medical care. I would say that if they had probably called medical care sooner, he probably could have survived his injuries. They didn't want him to, though. This woman has recently dyed her hair, and it's given the ginger spice, the red hair with the blonde bangs and the something, something, something weird, which is kind of telling of her mental state. Like, why would you? I don't. Yeah, it could be red and black. Two of Pentacles reversed imbalance an imbalanced woman that's what this is king of pentacles reversed a very angry husband the knight of cups is here again here's the ten of wands here's the six of wands and here's the ten of pentacles reversed we have repeating energy especially with these three especially Justice is reversed here again. I didn't show y'all it earlier. That was this is the nine of cups. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Strength keeps coming out as well. Was this a planned and coordinated assassination? We know it was. But um, give me, look at this, the King of Cups reversed. Of course, it was, it was. And then look at this, the Three of Pentacles reversed. I can't make it up. So amongst the three of them, they are definitely, this is at this point, divide and conquer. In the sense of they're each trying to save their own asses, okay? Uh, so they are definitely not working together to cover this up. Each of them are willing to throw the others under the bus to um, prevent from getting in trouble. Give me more about something. This is so weird. Tell me, just, I'm, a, I'm not even going to ask the question, because this is a lot to unpack. Just whatever comes out, Spirit, and I'll interpret it from there. We have the star reversed. We have I'm gonna, oh, the hanged man upright. The three of cups upright. This five of wands reversed won't go away. Go away. Someone is mental... You know what's interesting? That's what it is, child. They actually think they're going to get away with it. Like, they're they're so delusional to think that they're going to be successful with getting away with this. Is it, It's it's beyond me. The Hierophant again. Oh. Yeah. I'm a, the moon. Deceit. Deception by the police. Deception by a government agency. To a swords. They know better. They're choosing to not make a decision on what they should be doing. The Knight of Swords reversed extreme aggression. Knight of Wands. Ten of Cups reversed. That's what this is. The Empress reversed. That's exactly what this is. So here we have the Two of Wands. And then peeking behind that is the Two of Cups. And then you have the Page of Cups reversed. The Devil. Oh, yeah. For sure. The, the Ten of Swords is the one card in tarot we say represents literal death. We have the, let me get back to where I was at. We have the Two of Wands, decision making to the Page of Cups. To the Two of Cups upright. And then the Devil and then the King of Swords. This is all, this this indicates the thought process of that, the police officer who um, is the one that got the assistance from his buddies to murder this man. I'm not even going to explore it, what was the nature of the relationship. Because like I said, I think this woman was obsessed with him for reasons un even unbeknownst to him. And even if there was a relationship, because like I said, I have to explore all avenues. She couldn't let it go. But I, I'm, I'm definitely not seeing that. This is crazy. The Knight of Cups is here. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Cups reversed. And then Justice upright. And then the Seven of Swords upright the energy is repeating itself i think that is what happened there is this energy of so her 
her delusion is uh, to the point where she's a good storyteller. To the point that it, she makes things that uh, aren't true believable. And it will even produce fake evidence. Like fake text messages, fake emails, all that kind of She may be a stay-at-home mom because if she does all that, she has a lot of time on her hands. Or she works from home to where you know she's not being monitored so she can do what she wants at work. Even if she's not being productive. But the Four of Wands, crazy because the Four of Wands represents a home. She probably works from home or at home. I'm getting something about embroidery. Someone in her family may sew or be well known for that. Or like she's that one place in town where everybody goes to get their embroidery um, done and their t-shirts made. Have death reversed to judgment upright. Five of Swords is here. Tower is reversed. The Hermit is reversed. And then you got the Eight of Cups. The Eight of, they say the Eight of Cups turns into the Hermit. Eight of Cups is the, the Hermit on his way up to that mountain to get solitude and do some inner reflection. So one thing's for certain to the family. If local law enforcement doesn't want to do anything for you, federal law enforcement will. Um, you could probably ask the FBI to look into a civil rights violation case. Because that he definitely his 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 rights were definitely violated. Like they, the the neighbors who released that video are very brave. Just gonna say that because I'm certain that they didn't want that to come out. They as in the those involved. This is crazy. Uh -huh. Someone assisted the perpetrator with covering their tracks after the crime. We have RICO, which is a federal which is a federal indictment for um, organized crime, which is like this is, this is an organized effort. Could be a RICO crime. I don't know. This crime was racially motivated, and I've said that. It's very rare this card comes out. If if ever, if I can remember. Corruption, political corruption. That's the police department. This is wild. This crime was committed to cover up for a previous crime um, committed by the perpetrator. At the bottom, we have a close examination of the victim's life is needed to um, is needed to uncover useful information. Behind that, we have law enforcement is covering up for the perpetrator. Again, a closer examination. Well, this is a close examination of the victim's financial and business dealings will reveal useful information. So, maybe somehow they came into contact through his work or her work. Law enforcement is not investigating all possible leads. They know that this is related to some type of love triangle thing. Something like that. Okay, so military. Someone may be former military. The perpetrator resides in the area the um, crime was committed, which, I mean, you would think they may live locally, but this is interesting. The victim told a family member or close friend that they believed that, that the perpetrator would harm them and to know that if anything happened to them, the perpetrator likely did. He was aware that this He was aware that th that officer had an issue with him. I'm going to pull three more and then I'm done. Someone with useful information is afraid to come forward. This crime is related to what the victim did for work. An argument prompted the murder. So there's still this element of bit something business-wise. What is this sticking out? Someone with useful information is afraid to come forward. It appears that someone that knows more, um, knows enough to, you know, make something happen, is afraid to come forward. Because it's come out twice emphasis another law enforcement agency has an open investigation on the suspect I don't know what that's about uh, let's talk about the officer spirit that is appearing on TikTok because like I said there were three officers involved um, oh I hope two of these officers ain't related because if they are my god anyways um, but there's only one officer's picture that's circulating and it's interesting because it's circulating with the female in the picture typically they'll blur the or crop her out but the fact that she's with them is to me it's kind of like saying something without saying something give me more about that one picture i did see of one of the off three officers involved give me more is there the um seven of cups is here multiple choices confusion the three of cups is here the four of cups is here reverse this could be even someone being upset that he wouldn't accept a business proposal or a business offer from them or from their spouse yeah, the Two of Cups is a business, can, be, can be a business contract, but it could also be an, um, 
people getting to know each other before they turn into the lovers. And look, the Ten of Swords is here. Again, the one card we say represents literal death. Here's the Five of Wands to the Emperor reverse to the Justice reverse. The Emperor is a, um, is a supervisor. So, is a supervisor. He's a father. Typically, he's a good person when upright and even reverse he could maintain some of his good qualities however next to the justice reversed in the emperor reversed we have a very 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 bad man okay so i would say that he probably is in some type of leadership position or his wife's his father-in-law maybe i don't know why i'm getting that somebody has family that works in the as a state trooper we have the five of cups again there's a lot of regret we have the magician reverse manipulation we have the high priestess that we have the three of swords and then we have the seven of wands reversed um can you clarify the seven of wands reversed oh god the knight of cups reversed the six of swords upright the tower upright the moon reversed so for what it's worth at least somebody involved or maybe all of them are starting to realize that this woman is delusional she made it all up, but they are trying to convince themselves that she didn't. The magician being reversed is a lot of manipulation. Um, high priestess being here, a, a lot of illusions. I would go so far as to say she could even be involved in divination. She may do tarot or, um, yeah, or witchcraft. You just never know. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't know who be these witches out here. The king of cups is reversed. And we're going back to where we started. This is, I'm telling y'all, that's exactly what this is. Someone is definitely a Cancer Pisces, a Scorpio, the Nine of Wands. So this is giving the indication that this King of Cups is going to deny, deny to the death of him. Nevertheless, there's something. It's that it's a storyline amongst those storylines, even if it's not Mr. Perkins. It could be somebody, you see what I'm saying? So apply the energy to whoever it, it, it needs to be applied to. But that is definitely kind of what I'm getting about why this unfolded. Um, I mean, you would think if you're going to murder somebody that the, the plot would have been a little more secure because, like, literally, it was all caught on camera. But what, where did this towing company come from? Now, that's something that's, that I need to know. Um, like, because it's like you're just adding yourself to something because now this towing company needs to produce documentation to the family that whoever is financing the car asked them to go and get it. That's where I would start at. Why? How did this... The towing company, of course, was like the setup. But what... Where do where do they factor in? The lovers is reversed. The magician is upright. The death is reversed. Death keeps. Judgment is reversed. The empress is reversed. The, every single one of these cards are major arcana cards. That towing company is owned by somebody that they know, or even somebody high ranking in the police department, or this woman's family, or even one of the officers. They ain't unfamiliar with them people. They got the Queen of Swords reversed. It's that bitch. It's the woman that, to the Queen of Wands. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe a sister-in-law. A sister. Somebody. An aunt. A female family member. A female family member concerned about her status and her appearance to the community and would not want to be associated with some shit like this and she's very mad about it the knight of swords to the page of wands and she's letting them have it the moon reversed illumination mm, mm, mm. this is very weird it i mean um you know because of the nature of the work that i do nothing I can say nothing shocks me. I can say that. But what I can also say is that at times I'm still shocked at some of the storylines that come out. But this is what I'm seeing. So um, this is a reading from Mr. Clay Steve Perkins. My prayer is the family. I'm sorry about the circumstances. I'm sorry that the storyline was the way it presented itself. But this is how you find out the re the why. We know they killed him. It's, it's on tape. But that this is the why. And I love you guys. Until next time.